What's that in the sky? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a brand new year with Super Cool Get Us 2013. Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, I figured, you know, since it's a new year, let's do something new. Let's go into the new year with a new tier. So that's why I'm calling this video New Year, New Tier, or something along the lines of that New Tier, New Year. Same thing. At least this was a battle against a good friend of mine, Leo, commonly known as um, Six Foot Hacks, because that's his name on YouTube. And, yeah, I don't play a lot of RU, so, um, that's where the problem comes in. Um, I have problems building teams in RU, so that's why this team is a bit difficult for me to build. I'm going to go with the, um, Catney, or whatever this thing's name is, or a lead, because I used to use this thing all the time back when it was in OU, early, black and white. I needed a spinner because I was having a mulch race for a main special attacker, so I knew I needed a spinner. Cragnall seemed to be the best thing to do the job, plus he can take a special hit decently if I give him enough special defense. Also, along the lines of special, you know, walls, I have this Dusknor who will take hits very well on the special side. And I have this, um, Minecraft. I have Crustle for a physical wall, and I have a Gallade for, you know, coverage purposes and whatnot like that. So, um, yeah. That's what this team was kind of meant to do. I try to make this team pretty balanced. Trying to similarly build it the same way I build my OU teams. So yeah. Um, while we have a second, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? If you guys do, definitely leave a comment below so we can um, revel and I can work with you to get to these New Year's resolutions. Because um, it's important that all of my subscribers you know, are happy going into the New Year. Because you know, if you don't go into the New Year with a new attitude, it's going to be the same as the last year. Anyways, let the battle begin. He's going to lead off with his Entei, and I'm going to lead off with my green bangs, because if you look at its sprite from the front, it has bangs, and they happen to be green. Anyways, knowing that this thing is full of pranks and prankster-type shenanigans, he's going to go for the extreme speed to out-priority tie ZZZ me, while I go for the substitute. He's going to do that again. I'm going to break my sub, so now that I know he's already going to break my sub, I'm just going to set up the leech seed and try to get out of there right away. Because I know that um, it's pretty much useless setting up subs. Because he outspeeds me, or outprioritizes is, is me. So, it's not a big deal that I um, stay in. It's not important that I stay in. I think he's going to go for another extreme suit. So, I'm going to switch into um, Cyclops to Dusclops. Because, you know, um, I'm immune to it. And I take that hit like it's nothing. And it literally is nothing to me. Here I set up a sub while he switches into his Clefairy. Um, here is actually kind of fearing a sub button set sub punch set as soon as he's seen me sub up but i do not have sub punch i don't know if i predicted him to break it or just a mix click or whatever i don't know i broke the sub or i set up another sub but it failed oh well not a big deal i just go for the shadow snake here and he goes for a skull it's not able to break my sub so i'm just gonna go for another shadow snake while behind the sub um second i gotta say this for a second sorry if my narration's a bit off i'm kind of tired and I only have one shot to narrate this because a lot of my family is here right now and a lot of them are gone right now. So, yeah, I don't have very much time to get this up. So um, I'm just going to get this up while I can. Anyways, another Scald is going to be able to break this up. So I'm going to switch out into my um, Kragno because I know that he can take a Scald, assuming he doesn't get the burn. So, yeah, I can take a Scald. I can't really do that much to him. I can Toxic him if I want to. But, um, yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do this turn. I'm going to Toxic him. And unfortunately, he's also going to Toxic me, so this is like a doubly toxic turn of doom and destruction. So yeah. Anyways, now I decide I'm not going to let the Toxic damage rack up, so I decide to switch back out into um, Green Bangs again. However, he predicts that and goes for a Toxic. So now, my two defensive things, Kragnall and um, Arafoon, are both... Toxic. Why did I call it Aeroflume by its Japanese name? Whatever. I'm having troubles remembering its English name. Whimsicott. Oh, that's what it's called, Whimsicott. Yay, revelations while I'm remembering stuff. Anyways, um, here I try to set up a leech seed, predicting a switch into I don't know what, but um, he switches into this thing. From what I hear, I guess Magic Guard doesn't actually affect, uh, or leech seed doesn't actually affect Magic Guard, but that's not important to me, because I suck at RU. I don't care. I'm going to say it. I suck at RU, alright? Anyways. Yeah, I just go for a taunt while he tries to set up the stealth rock, so that backfired in his face. He switches into his Farah seed, this annoying abomination once I switch into Minecraft. I'm just going to set up the stealth rocks, and he's going to go for the toxic. So now, my three defensive things are now toxic. Aerophone, defensive. This thing, Minecraft, defensive. Cragnal, defensive. 
why are you toxic and everything that's defensive and the leech seed? So, um, not a good situation for me. Here I'm going to decide to switch out. Maybe I can scare him out with, um, you know, faking a fire punch, even though, um, this thing's really not that offensive. Doesn't have a fire punch. Whatever. It probably would be able to take a fire punch anyways. But he is not going to have any of that. He's just going to toxic this thing. So now everything on my team that is defensive is toxic. More than half of my team is toxic. The only thing that isn't toxic is Moltres and, um, Gallade, which... Those were the two things that I would care light least if they were toxic, because, you know, they aren't going to be in for a long time, unlike these things that are supposed to be walls. So that sucks on my part. He's going to switch out to his Pharaoh. He's going to switch out his Pharaoh Seed into his Clefairy. I'm just going to get a burn on it. Not going to matter because of the Magic Guard and everything like that. So he's not even going to take any damage from the burn. And he's getting H2 back from the Leech Seed. So this is um not a good situation for me. I'm going to switch out into Surfboard. I'm just going to go for a close combat, attempting to take down this thing while he finally gets his rocks up. He's going to switch out. I'm just going to, like I said, go for the close combat, and it's going to be able to take down this Entei. Now, it's going to get a critical hit. I, well, I don't, it's not that I don't think. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter at all. Entei is dead. Goodbye. My defense and stuff lowered, but that doesn't matter. They always lower my do that. I'm going to switch out on this next turn. He's going to switch into this thing. I am unfortunately not carrying the Night Slash or anything like that, which, um, looking back, if I continue to play RU, I will switch that guy set and give him Night Slash, because a lot of things there are weak to dark. I'm going to switch into Green Banks. He's going to go for the, um, Psy Shock. And like I said, he's max, H or he's max HP, max defense, so I'm going to be able to just barely survive it. And, um, after Leftovers, it's going to, Leftovers and Point, it's going to bring me right back at 40. He's going to bring this thing in, and I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain. I'm not going to do that much, because these things are especially defensive, and I don't have very 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 little special attack in this in this guy so um whatever i um get brought up to about 80 i'm able to survive one more turn of toxic and i set up the leech seeds um yeah leech seed not important but um whatever someone managed to survive another turn i believe here after the leftovers yep i survived one last turn I'm down to six hp here not a lot i can do i'm just gonna taunt him i don't know why i didn't have anything to do so I just taunted him, and I didn't want to switch this thing out because it would just dock me back in on rack, so whatever. Slice and tossed, Whimsicott is down, yes, I remember that thing's name now. Switch back into Surfboard, because I don't know if I said this earlier, but look at the thing. There's a Surfboard sticking out of its chest. My god, what's wrong with this thing? It was whatever. He switches into this thing, I kind of predicted it, so I just ended up going for um, a, a trick. I tricked him the Choice Scarf, which is good, because now he has to either lock himself into Psy Shock Scald or... Something like that, really can't toxic stall. And I don't know if he has any recovery moves with him. He gets himself into Psy Shock. I know I can take two or three hits of this, so I'm just going to stay in. Go for a Stone Edge. It's going to take him down to mm, maybe 35 ish percent. I don't know. Because um, I survived this. I guess he predicted me to switch out, but nope, I'm not having none of that. Um, I'm just going to stay in and go for another um, Stone Edge because um, clearly I have amazing accuracy and I never, ever miss Stone Edge. So, um, yeah. Three stone edges in a row, like a boss. Anyways, now I decide to switch this thing out, because he's getting a little bit of HP back, because of the leftovers that he um, tricked from the uh, Slow King. And he's just going to go for a Mach Punch, which is why I switched this thing in, because I thought he was just going to go for some fighting move. Leftovers, doesn't matter, because Toxic, I hate you, Toxic. Leo, thank you for, you know, Toxing everything on my team in existence. I was pretty good this thing to come in, so I'm just going to go for a plane split, which is really good for me, because these things have plenty of HP, and he kind of has low HP. Not, he doesn't have that much HP, but whatever. It's going to bring me up to almost full, and it's going to not even really damage him that much, but whatever. He's going to switch back into the Slow King, which I don't know why it's named Slowry. That kind of reminds me of Celery. I don't know if I'm missing some sort of reference, but whatever. I'm switching to Slow Flake. Um, we have a... Not really a stall war, but um, we're going to kind of try to stall each other here. I'm going to rapid spin out the um, rocks. I lied, we're not stalling. But whatever, I rapid spin the rocks out. One shy shock's going to be able to take me down, because this thing has really kind of pitiful physical defense. And I'm going to send in Hot Wings. like that name, because, you know, his wings are on fire. So, Hot Wings. You know, like the food. Shut up. Anyways, um, I'm just going to move the air slash predicting this thing to come in, and I predict that perfectly. This thing comes in, it dies in one hit. It's going to switch in wet back the um Mexican lawnmower. He's going to go for the volt switch. He predicted me to switch out, but um, nope, I'm too stupid to do that. So um, he didn't go for the T-Bolt. He would have killed me, but he just went for the volt switch. Anyways, now he has to send in the, um this thingy. 
So um, after this thingy, I fire blast it, and I just barely survive after the life orb. He barely survives after the fire blast. Two turns of disappointment. We both just barely survive. However, I have the roost. He didn't want me to have the roost, but I did. He goes for the sagging and bring me down to 133, I believe. Yep, 133, because I only knew that because, you know, it always is 100, but whatever. One air slash will be able to finally take out this Clefairy, so that's good for me. I'm down to low HP. I could go for another roost here, but I decided not to. I decided to try to just see if I can take this thing out with the hidden power grass. Unfortunately, I am not able to take it out. It's like, ugh, dang. Come on, Voltres, you just have to barely miss everything. The only thing you didn't just barely kill was the Hitmon top, or Hitmon Chan, whatever. That's depressing. That's depressing, alright? Stop being so depressing. I'm switching this thing, he's going to switch that thing out, which, this, that, yeah, that's the only words I need to say. I don't actually need to say the names of the Pokemon, whatever. However, the Shadow Snake, and apparently that makes contact, because I get Iron Barb's damage. I don't know, I imagine him attacking with his Shadow? I don't know, whatever. I finally get the burn off in the Ferris Seed. Really, um, it's not going to cripple his Gyro Ball or whatever these things do offensively, but, um, what I did was mostly just for residual damage, and he gets off his first layer of Spikes. Um, and then I go for a Shadow Sneak and more Iron Bars damage, Leech Seed damage now, and Toxic damage. This thing's going down really fast. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is a bit kind of, um, clogged up. I'm sorry that this is such a long narration. I don't know why this battle was so long. I was going to go for a Pain Split here. It's really pretty much the only thing I can do. It didn't really benefit either of us, but, um, at this point I pretty much know that I lost because everything... My two offensive things, the Gallade and the uh, What's-His-Face, I'm pretty sure they're both dead now. And everything that's on my team now is covered in icky, gooey, toxic poison and disgustingness and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, now he's just going to slowly, slowly chip my health down, which, looking back, I probably should have sped this up a bit more, but, um, whatever. I have more time to talk about New Year's. And this thing said, goodbye. But, um... Anybody have any big plans for the uh, new year? I do. I actually have some plans for my YouTube channel. I'm going to make a video about that in um, a couple days, probably. I don't know why I still eat these back up. This thing's just going to die in one turn, but whatever. Eh, whatever. I guess I negated the burn damage, but um, yeah, so now Gallade's dead. Probably could have went for a close combat and maybe did a bit more damage, but whatever. I'm going to switch in this last thing. X Scissor. Iron Barbs, and the Burn is going to be able to take it down, I believe, <clears throat> at the end of this turn, because Burn goes before Leech Seed. So, um, good game. You know, match is over. I can die a hero, because I actually am able to end up killing this Pharaoh Seed. So, um, <sighs> good job, Minecraft. Good game, Leo. I know this narration was a bit crappy, but whatever. I'm happy with it. New tier, new year. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Yay, are you. I will see you all later. After, you know, I die scald. But, um, yeah. Okay, bye-bye. You know, like always, Facebook, in the description, Tumblr in the description, Leo, his channel will be in the description right up there. Definitely go subscribe to him. He recently got partnered. So, um, yeah, bye-bye.